But I did it. To me, Trump is a freaking godsend. To me, Trump is what is, is, is life. To me, Trump is a second chance. Sorry about that if you don't hear me. To me, Trump is a second chance. So when you say he's, he's uh, I'm like, nah, dude, he's way more than that. He's way more than that. You see, I, I don't have the luxury to worry about freaking Roe versus Wade. I have no, I have, I don't have the luxury to worry about that. I'm too busy trying to keep my family fed to think about that. And for the first goddamn time in my life, I actually see a way out. I see a way out, something I've never seen before. I see a way out, man, and just that little bit of hope is enough for me to have a fire in my belly powerful to freaking charge the goddamn world, man. I'm ready to take over, but if Biden gets in the office, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm saying thank you to you because you unlocked me, and I'm sure you unlocked a lot of people. There is a silent majority out there, man. I talk to them every day. I just came out of... I went to an Arab, I work for mostly Arabs, right? I went to an Arab place, right? And I asked him, who, who, who are you voting for? You know, it's safe. Who is he for? He said, Trump. And I was like, I got hugged him so hard. He was like, hey, I was like, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm so excited to hear you say that because I was nervous. Because all I see is Biden signs everywhere I go. And I'm like, please, Lord, don't let this guy win. You know what I'm saying? But there is a science majority out there. I talked to him. They're workers like me who didn't care about politics, didn't even think about politics, didn't want to talk about politics. I got I got people that I work with on a daily basis saying, yo, man, we got to do something. Thank you, man. Thank you for unlocking me. Thank you for unlocking other people. Because had I stayed asleep, ain't no telling what would have happened, man. Ain't, ain't no telling. I just want to say thank you, man. I know this video.